Hello guys, in this video I'm going to try and remove the password from the BIOS of this HP Compaq 6710B. Uh, to do this uh, I've searched a little bit online and come across uh, of a software made by a user from many forums and YouTube named Mazif. Well, he made a software for HP laptops, not for all of them, but for most of them, that is able to remove the BIOS password as long as you are able to boot from a USB drive or a DVD drive, CD drive or something. Uh, and I've uh, put that software on a USB drive. This model, from what I remember, is not listed. Uh, at least on the version that I have on, on the drive, but uh, it has a shotgun mode where it uh, tries to remove the password even on non-listed models. So, yeah, I'm gonna try it and see what happens. Okay, at this point I will press F9 because, uh, sorry, I didn't even show you, let me try and press F10 to see enter BIOS. As you can see, I cannot enter the BIOS, I have to shut it down again. Power it on again and press uh, F9 to boot from the USB drive. Now in my case I could leave it like this because the password is only on BIOS. The laptop starts normally. But I want to try and, and uh, remove it. I have some free time and yeah, I want to tinker with this. Ok, let us boot from the drive. Ok, reboot to Windows or type your file name or... I have no idea. Could this be it? I have no clue what just happened. Did it already remove it? Nope. Password not removed. Hmm. I don't really like the odds of this because something doesn't seem to be to be working. From what I know, the menu that should appear is completely different from what I'm actually getting. Maybe it uh, generates a code in that folder, in this one, information saved. Hmm. Not really sure. I'm going to reboot into Windows and check this folder to see what I have. This is really weird. Sorry. Yeah, something is not, not working. So I'm going to go into Windows and come back after I realize what, what's happening actually. Just entered the Windows. The output folder was empty at the moment when I entered Windows, but then I read a little bit, uh, I read a little bit in this readme file and it told me to run this. I actually run it, come on. And then uh, try to click, it sees my model, try to click on, click on make key. Maybe it creates something that will it will use uh, later. It that didn't seem to do anything. Then I clicked make all and it actually made a lot of files in here. I have absolutely no clue if that will uh, do the trick. But uh, key, yeah. Let me let me just see what's happening, and at this point I'm going to to close this. 
and uh, yeah, restart. I don't know. It doesn't seem to be as straightforward as I thought it would be. But it's weird because I've encountered uh, previously, for example, one BIOS that was uh, completely custom and it was extremely hard to remove the, the password. In the end it was done with uh, a similar software to this, but quite annoying. So maybe it's something similar this time. Who knows? Let me try again with all. At least it, it is doing something. But from what I see, notebook not supported for all of them. So, yeah. Let me just try and enter BIOS again to see if anything happened and it's doing something different now. Nope. Yeah, probably a newer version of this uh, software will have support for this laptop. But the one that I have and found online, it doesn't. Okay, I'm going to enter BIOS, uh, Windows again to see what else I can find did some more online uh, searching and it seems that uh, the ZIF tool doesn't uh, always work uh, on this model actually I couldn't find not even one person for which it worked although it seems to be somewhat this model seems to be somewhat listed in the um, Windows version of the of the software that generates the executable file so I don't know, it should work, but it doesn't, so yeah, I'm going uh, to try some, okay, I have. I'm going to try uh, something else and see if that uh, actually works. Uh, somebody, uh, an HP expert on a forum, uh, said that uh, if you remove the BIOS battery, the password should uh, be gone. So. I'm going to try that. It cannot hurt anything. And at this point, uh, I'm ready to try all versions. Like you could see, I removed uh, two screws from the back of the keyboard. And at this point, it's only held in place with uh, these latches here. So you put your finger uh, between them and the uh, next plastic and pull down and they should uh, should release now I'm just thinking maybe there is another screw I have not uh, opened this uh, particular model before and I could be wrong and then and there could be another screw yeah you can see here keyboard sign so that means behind this cover there is another uh, screw for the keyboard I kind of hate this when the screw is not uh, directly visible but yeah and my question is now where the hell is the screw could this one be it? I'm going to try and undo this one. Yeah, it doesn't seem to come out, so probably that was the screw for the keyboard, the third one. These HP models, uh, laptops, are pretty similar but not identical, so yeah, this one has three screws. The last one that I opened had only two, so yeah, what can I do? Okay, this seems to be out. I'm not going to unplug anything. Here you can see the second memory stick. And here, I don't know what that is. Here we have uh, the BIOS, or actually no. 
Wait a second. Okay, this model is even uh, more different than I thought. So this basically has, let me try and show you, um, socket for the battery similar to desktop motherboards. So you do not unplug anything, you just uh, take the battery out. So let me see how can I convince it to, to come out. And I did. So, as that guide says, let's uh, leave it out for about 10 minutes and then try to power the laptop and see if it still has a password. Hopefully it will not. Just wanted to add, when doing this, the main battery ha uh, has to be out. If you have a secondary battery, take that out also and remove the power uh, from the laptop. Of course it doesn't uh, have to um, have anything with um, power connected to it while doing this. And yet again, it's a good thing I did this, because as you can see in this corner, the memory is not latched properly in. Only now it is. So the memory was not completely secured in place. I let this thing sit for more than half an hour and I will also make a short between the uh, contacts for the battery just to make sure there is absolutely no way that any remaining energy could keep the BIOS alive. This is all what uh, I can do with this method and let's put the battery back. Okay, it should be in, and at this point uh, I'm putting back the keyboard just so I can uh, power it on. Of course I will not uh, put the screws in the back or something like that. Uh, yeah, let's plug it in. You can hear my wife talking in the background, or maybe not. Let's see. And we're inside the BIOS. So for this model, uh, it is this simple. You just remove the battery and uh, you clear the BIOS. So yeah, that's about it, uh, what can I say, uh, thanks for watching, give this video a like if you found it useful, check out my other videos, subscribe and see you again in the next one, bye.